So for this type of solid, we're supposed to use the washer method. Okay, but I'm going to ignore the washer method right now, and I'm going to ignore this cavity inside. We're going to pretend that this thing is all the way filled in. Okay? So we're all the way filled in. There's no cavity in there. There's no empty space. Can you just find the area, or the volume, I'm sorry, of this solid? Is that possible? Okay, yes, it's totally possible. So let's, uh, let's go through our steps again. I just don't get where the inner, the outer circle number and the inner circle number. Don't worry about the inner circle yet. We'll get there, okay? No, no, just this solid, okay? So we're doing, we're doing the disc method here. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna find our A. A is the area of the cross section. Our cross section is a disc. So that's just pi n squared, okay? All right, so here's our disc. Here, here's this dotted line in the middle. Our disc goes from here to here, and then back up. That's close to being good. Okay, no, that first one was better, but anyways. So this is, this is n right here, right? So it's from this line right here to this line right here. That's, that's gonna be your n. That's the distance of the radius. So how would we find n? Now here it's gonna be, it's gonna be a function of x because our, our cross sections are perpendicular to the x-axis. How do we find the distance from here to here? You guys remember top minus bottom? Yeah. But That's what you do. What's the bottom, two? Yep. So the top function is this one right here. That is square root of x. The bottom function is y equals two. So the top one's y equals x, the bottom one's y equals 2. Oh, wait, thank you. That has a negative 2. Good looking out, Maddie. <laughs> Shut up, Maddie. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> All right, the square root of x minus negative 2, which is plus, that's your n. And so now you can easily write the a of x formula. And you need the a of x so that you can plug it into your integral of x. Okay, so let's do that. We have pi, and then we have the square root of x plus two squared. This is just n right here, people. Don't get freaked out by it. Then I plug it in. I'm gonna put the pi on the outside because he's like a scalar. So I'm gonna have square root of x plus two, and I'm gonna square that. This is dx. What are my x values? What's my beginning and my end x value? It's the same as last time, it's two and nine. So I'm gonna put two right here and nine right here. Now, if I wanted to do this by hand, I'm gonna to have to get rid of this power right here. You can throw this in your calculator, but I'm not going to because I do wanna do it by hand because I think it's good practice. Okay, so I'll have pi multiplying in front. We have two to nine. And now if I want to multiply that out, it's gonna to have to say square root of x plus two times square root of x plus two. That's what the square does. It makes two of these multiplying to each other. You cannot distribute this. You are killing uh, little puppies when you do that. Okay, so that times that. I know, that's, that's really mean, huh? Don't do that. Okay, then we have uh, the next one, which is uh, that times that, and then that times that, which is like the same thing, but you add them together, then you get four, that looks like a nine, four square root of x, and then we have plus four, which is the last one, that times that. Okay, and then this is, dx. I like to put the parentheses there, especially since calculators like to put the parentheses there. All right, now I have to do the antiderivative here. So I'm going to have a 4x to the 1 half. So we have, um, what would that be? It'd be x to the 2, because I add 2 to the, or add 1 to the exponent, then we divide it by 2. Plus, I add 1 to this exponent, it'd be 3 over 2. I'm just going to write this one out, divide it by 3 over 2. Uh, now, if I multiply top and bottom by 2, that gets rid of that, and this would make become an 8. All right, so now it's just 8 over 3. And then I have a 4, and then an x. <laughs> I'm going to plug in 2, then 9. Did I do a mistake? No. Okay, so let's, let's plug it in. If you're getting air plugging stuff in your calculator, come see me. I'm gonna try, I'll try to help. It is kind of complicated sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to plug in a 9 first. So I have 81 over 2 plus uh, I have 8 over 3 times, oh, that, this kind of sucks, plugging 9 into that. Uh, what do you want to do first? You want to raise 9 to the third, or do you want to take the square root of 9? Square, square root of 9. So square root of 9 is 
three, and then what is three raised to the third power? 27. 27 plus, and then I have four times nine, which is 36. And then we're gonna subtract all of what we get when we plug in two. So if I plug in two now to this first one, that would be four times one half. What's four times one half? That's two. The next one, um, I have two, I'm gonna raise it to the third power. Two raised to the third power is eight. And then we're gonna square root that. So we're gonna have eight over three, and then we have a square root of eight. I know we can simplify that, but I'm gonna leave it as it is right now. And then I plug a two into multiplying the four, I get eight, and then um, our closed parenthesis. Wow. Make sure those parentheses are there because we have to distribute this negative. Yeah, this would be so much easier plugging into a calculator. My goodness. Okay, and then, um, oh man, I don't really wanna do this. Okay, cross out that three, this becomes a nine. Nine times eight is 72, so we have 81, which is 40. Don't yawn at me, how dare you? 72 plus 36, and then minus two. Sorry. <laughs> Why are you talking when you're trying to teach? No, but how do you do that? Sorry. Okay, so we get 16 over 3 minus 8. And then we're going to multiply this dude by pi. Oh, man, that's disgusting. we got to add all that junk together, multiply by pi. And, man, do I have to find a common denominator of 3? Oh, that's whack. That's wacky yo wo. Here, well, can you guys just plug that into a calculator for me so and tell me the answer? So, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm not going to write this in terms of pi because I don't want to do it. Uh, you guys got 411.415. That's your answer. And that's approximate because I had to round.